So what debt and bonding agent do you use? I'm Shut just up. <laughs> <laughs> we had a conversation. He said, I, I, I went to this, uh, this podcast, and the first thing they said was, what debt and bonding agent do you use? It's like, no one wants to know that. But like, kill me. Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. So, yeah. so we're going to talk about a lot of things. One thing, though, that, that because I think you and I are so similar, when you wake up and, and you brush your teeth and you look in the mirror in the morning, what motivates you? Because you're a practicing dentist, you're yes. doing all these kinds of things, and you're probably mm-hmm. at the point that you could say, you know, I, I, I'm not going to do this anymore, I'm not going to do this anymore. So what, what motivates you as you see yourself back in the mirror to, to move on and do all the fun things you're doing? So <clears throat> the truth is, you know, you get to a point where, you know, dentistry is a stressful job. It, it is a stressful <laughs> job, no question. I run an office with five hygienists, uh, Every specialist, like a kind of like a Seattle study group on the office, two full-time associates, just a great group of people. So I love, I honestly will tell you, do I love running a business? No. I really, I'm telling you, I don't. What I love, honestly, every day is getting up and knowing I'm going to have patient interaction. So you get to a point where, am I hopping chair to chair, doing everything just to make your numbers at the end of the day? And I get why people have to do that. Then you also get to a point in life where you see what a beautiful thing we do every day. Mm -hmm. And yeah, patients can be difficult. We all know that. But on the other hand, the relationships. So I see routinely patients above 50. I can't stand kids, can't stand them. Five at home, that's plenty. (laughs) And I mean it, but I really really don't want to see kids. So the relationships are with adults and they become long-term. So I kind of think of our work as kind of, it's, it's artistic. And that's the that's kind of like the hobby type of feel I get. But I'm still running a business. Don't be fooled. I still <laughs> have to run a business. I've got whatever sixteen people who work for me. Right. I have to run a business. Yeah, and our yeah. overhead isn't twenty percent like some businesses. No, can we I have, say we have to look at that constantly. No, and we should talk about that eventually. But I, I will say to you, if you just go to work and you're just looking at just numbers and numbers, man, it is stressful. You have to take a step back, and that's an acquired thing where this is something you really can enjoy. And I've learned that from older dentists right. who would say, you'll get there. 